Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to another video. So if you're new around here, my name's Shakima. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? It is Wednesday, February 23rd, and I'm getting ready to go to the grocery store. So I just thought I would film for you, kind of just share with you a little bit about how we're doing this week's groceries. So if you're new to our channel, I'm a single mom. I have four children. I have two girls, Alana and Shamika. I have two boys, Strandon and Jackson. So Shamika and Jack, uh, Shamika and Trandon are adults. They don't live at home anymore. Um, Shamika's in California. Trandon is in Florida. So it's just me and the two littles. Well, Alana just turned 18, and Jackson will be 13 in April, the very last day of April. So with that being said, I'm in a sense feeding three adult children. Now, usually how I grocery shop or how I started when I started the channel was I was big into couponing and I would um, shop my sales, right? So I would pull up my sales ad. Every week I get a sales ad, pull up my sales ad, and then I would shop the ad and then I would build my meal plan around what I was able to find on sale. Um, and I've done that successfully for the last seven years that I've been on YouTube. However, for this week, the kids and I actually are building our meal plan first, and then I'm gonna shop the meal plan. And the reason that I'm doing that is because we're doing the cabbage soup diet this week. So when I got sick back in September, I had been I was doing 75 hard, and I could I could not do 75 soft. I couldn't do anything. I was just very very sick, and I lost a lot of weight, and I was working out twice a day, and I was getting my water in, and I was doing all the things. Well, since I and, um, and then it took me a long time to recover, right? Some people just kind of snap right back. I was out for 10 days of work. I went back to work and it took me until about mid-November before I finally started to feel like myself. Well, then right at Thanksgiving, the day before Thanksgiving, Alana got sick and then Jackson got sick and then mom got sick. And I was sick again for another two weeks um, until right up around the middle of December. Since December though, I've been well, and it's like, you know, towards the end of February now. So all has been well, but in that whole time, so from sep September, October, November, December, January, because I was waiting for Alana to turn 18 so she could go with me to the gym now, five months, I didn't work out. And in five months, I was not doing my strong keto like I normally would. I was doing keto slash whole 30 slash eat what we want slash we don't know what's working for our body right now. Let's just do whatever. And all the weight that I had lost, I've gained back. And so um, we just did an um, endocrinology appointment with Alana. Alana has some insulin resistance things we're watching and we've been watching them for several, several years. But she's 18 now and all of her tests, all of her blood work, everything looked really good. Um, so what we're trying to do now is to get our body on a good track. So normally for me, I do a detox. I do seven days cabbage soup diet. Now I am not a, a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you what we're doing at our house that's gonna build our grocery budget, uh, our grocery shop for this week. So we started, sun, we started Monday. So we had a friend over for dinner on Sunday. We started Monday doing the um cabbage soup and that's because we had a friend over for dinner on sunday she comes over once a week and we know she's coming and so we eat usually whatever we plan and she and i will talk and hey she usually brings a rotisserie chicken and i provide the sides so that's how we do that um she wants to bring the chicken i would be happy to to make a chicken but she loves to be able to do that and I'm happy that she wants to do that. And she usually brings two, which gives the kids and I an extra meal, uh, an extra couple meals during the week. So I don't ask her to do that. She does that, but we do provide the side. So it just works out. You know, we're a family. She's a part of our family. She's not my friend anymore. She really is a part of our family. And we just eat together. It's it's mama's house, right? It's going to mama's house <laughs> for, for Sunday dinner. And that's just how we do it. So anywho, we started Cabbage Soup on Monday but I don't go to the grocery store until Wednesday. So we had some fruit from last week, which is the first day. The first day is cabbage soup plus the soup. I mean, cabbage soup plus fruit. 
The second day is the cabbage soup plus veggies and a baked potato. And we had veggies in the freezer and we also had a baked potato. And we had um, some, we had a squash, spaghetti squash in the pantry. So that got us through days one and day two. Day three is veggies and fruit. So we still had some of that, which is today is day three. So that got us through the first three days because we are just using up what we had. So my grocery budget is $75 for this week and I'm not going over the budget because I am only shopping the cabbage soup list. So we still have four more days. Day four is bananas and milk plus your cabbage soup and water. Day five is beef and tomatoes or chicken and tomatoes or fish and tomatoes or lean turkey and tomatoes, whichever you decide. So the kids and I think we're gonna do some beef because we have beef in the refridge, in the freezer at home but I'm going to buy some turkey sausage um, that we can have for breakfast. So we can have turkey sausage and veggies. So I think um, there's, I'm gonna get some veggies and we're gonna do some turkey sausage and we're gonna have that for the fifth day. The sixth day, I think you can have veggies and fruit and meat. And I think beef is on the list. So we'll have beef, but I think we can have turkey sausage again. The last day is brown rice, veggies, and unsweetened juice. So I have brown rice already and I am gonna make brown rice. I have not had rice in years, unless it was collie rice. And I may still have collie rice just cause I'm not sure that I wanna do regular rice cause just when you've been on keto so long, it, it does something to your brain. But I believe, my belief system is keto works for my body. Keto works excellently for my body. I'm full of energy. I'm ready to go. I'm doing all the things. But for my body, keto works well. But I believe God made all the food, right? God made all the food. And I believe that my issue is eating too much of things and not moving enough. And that's just the truth. I am a sugaraholic. I love sugar. I love desserts and snacks and all those things. And that's where I lose it. I can eat anything. I can eat chicken every day. But give me a dessert and I'll eat the whole dessert, right? So, I'm going to try my hardest to do Trim Healthy Mama. A friend of mine, um, Sunid, sent me just kind of like a at a glance where I could just kind of get the next one. Alrighty, you guys, so let's talk um, the cabbage soup day by day, right? Because again, this is how I'm going to be doing my grocery shopping for the week. Uh, this week, which is the 20, today is the 23rd, I'm going to be shopping from today until Sunday, right? Because we've already done a couple days. But I'm only buying foods that we need to finish out the cabbage soup. So day one is any fruit except for bananas, and we've already done day one. Day two is non-starchy green leafies, which we did have that. And we also had the baked potato. It says you can have your baked potato at breakfast. We actually chose to have ours at dinner if we didn't, because you can have it at dinner. It says here, if you didn't have it um, at breakfast, you can have one at dinner. So that's what we did. The next thing we did was um, today is day three, which is a mixture of fruits and veggies. And so what I'm going to do is do the apples, the baked apples. So I'm actually going to do those probably um, in the microwave just because we don't have a lot of time. By the time, you know, we get done with dance and all the things, it's really late in the evening. So we don't have a ton of time to do that one today, but we're going to because you can have the apples with cinnamon and we really like those. We won't put any additional sugar on it or anything of that nature. We will just do the apples. And then I think we can do the date sauce because it's only dates. There's nothing else in it, just dates, which today is fruits and veg. Um, and then we'll have roasted veg. So days one, two, and three, we already had food for. What we're gonna be using or shopping for on the grocery list is days four through seven. So let me show you what those days look like. And I was actually looking earlier and found that I had these um, saved in my uh, Google Docs, which was perfect. So day four 
is going to be um, hopefully re a reduction of the desire for sweets. Now, y'all know I crave sweets. It's just one of the things that happens to me. I don't know why, but this is bananas and this is uh, skim milk. Um, we may sub in almond milk. I don't do skim milk. I don't even do almond milk, so I'm, I'm fine without it. I can, I'm just going to have coffee. And I'm getting in my four bottles of water every day. I'm at least getting in three and a half bottles. I do try for four. Um, so, and then this gives us some different uh, options for meals. So it does say you can have Greek yogurt or almond milk. I'm staying away from yogurt because we're doing dairy-free. Um, but Alana likes almond milk, so she would probably enjoy having that. I think I'm just going to do some a sliced banana with a little bit of cinnamon on top and, and live my best life. And then again, I'll just have uh, bananas with lunch and then cabbage soup and bananas for dinner. Going into day five is where things changes up just a tiny little bit. Um, day five is lean protein, right? So it gives you chicken, turkey, or fish. And, and then another one says you can do beef. Alana likes beef, but we do have salmon at home. So I was trying not to buy fish because the last time I bought tilapia, it was like $20 for a four pound bag. But you can have that with up to six tomatoes but we're not going to do the, we don't do the large tomatoes. We just do the grape tomatoes or the cherries and we have some of those at home. So I'm not going to buy any more. So what we do already have though, is we have some chicken. We had a rotisserie chicken from Sunday that we haven't finished because we started this on Monday. So I'm going to take that chicken. I'm going to take some of those grape tomatoes. We're going to put some uh, garlic and some uh, Italian seasoning. We'll go ahead and put those in the oven. Turkey sausage patties we can have, so I am going to pick up some of those for breakfast on day five. And I'm also going to pick it up um, some for breakfast on day six, right? Because we can have turkey sausage again on days five and six. So I'm going to just try to find some turkey sausage um, and use that. I think you can have up to six to eight ounces of meat on day five and then the same on day six we'll see but these are lean lean proteins so if we have more than the six ounces i'm not gonna fight over it um one day i think it's this day five you can actually have or maybe it's day six you can have a steak so if i find a steak or if i find some pork chops i'm gonna pick those up so one of those days this was just what I had saved in my Google Drive, uh, Google Docs, but I'm going to go check it again because one of these days you can have a steak. And I do appreciate a steak or a nice good pork chop, which is perfectly fine either or. Day seven is where I'm going to make some adjustments, y'all, because I have never, since I've done cabbage soup over the last three years, three and a half, four years, I've never done the brown rice. When I went keto, I gave up all grains, period. And the truth is, I actually have a fear of food. I have a fear of eating the wrong foods to get to gain weight. And I know that's a mindset because all food, what I'm what I'm learning and praying over, God created all food. And he said it was all good to eat. My issue is I eat too much of it and then I don't move my body. So I was just letting y'all know that that was a real thing in my head. But I am going to do the brown rice because on day eight, I'm actually going to introduce something else that I haven't had in my diet in a very, very, very long time. And I'll share that in a cook with me video. So on day seven is unsweetened fresh juice, brown rice and veggies. So we're going to do probably some stir fry rice. I may do some cauliflower rice because cauliflower is on sale this week. Uh, we'll see, but we're going to do that with veggies. I'm going to pick up some cabbage. So this uh, tells you you can do a smoothie, a fruit and veggie smoothie. I don't. I prefer not to do any of that. I don't like to drink my veggies. I like to chew them. Um, and so that's what we have as far as days five, six, and seven. And then for dinner on day seven, you have your um, rice, cauliflower, and stir fry, uh, stir fried with roasted veggies which, you know, we'll do that. This also says you can take calorie-free beverages. 
So I'm gonna pick up a few of the uh, sparkling clear waters just for the kids. Not doing tea. I've been having coffee every day, but I have not been having any juice. We have not. We don't buy juice as a traditional thing in our in our family, or as a part of our grocery list. So Hair Cedar is having a good sale this week. So this is the list that I'm shopping from. I have seventy five dollars to make this list happen. So cauliflower, the fresh, is buy one get one free. Now I'm going to determine whether I have time to do fresh and process it. If I don't, I'm going to get frozen. Eight pounds of potatoes is $2.99. We will be doing kind of, we, we're going to be doing mainly keto, but we're going to throw in some emails as well. So I'm going to do a lot of S meals and emails. I'm working on Trim Healthy Mama, but sticking mainly with the S meals because we do, well, Alana does have some insulin resistance issues. And so I want to stick mainly with the S meals, but throw in an email from time to time and not feel horrible about doing it, which is something I'm working on. So they do have the eight pounds of potatoes, that's $2.99. I think I'm going to go ahead and roast some of these up or do them in an instant pot, and we're gonna divide them out and we'll do them every third day or every once a week or something where we have, um, this will be like a make ahead. Pineapples are three for $5. Um, we can have fruit on days six, I think. So I'll get some fruit. We can still have fruit today, which is day three. Their um, non-steam veggies are four for five. I'll pick some of those up. Almond butter, which I'll get for next week. Um, I'll pick that up at $5.99. They do also have the plant-based butter at two for six. I'll pick that up as well. They have eggs, which we will use in the next weeks um, after the cabbage soup. And I'll go ahead and do eggs. I will make deviled eggs or angel eggs in our house. Um, so we can have those already pre-made. We have apples. Well, I'm going to pick up some apples and some uh, cabbage. I'm not sure about the carrots. I don't know if I'll have enough time, but I may be able to do that latter part of the week. Then I'm going to get the turkey sausage. I'm actually not going to get the fish. I know that's going to bust my budget, so I'm not going to do it. Um, so turkey sausage, I'm going to look for a pretty big pack because there's three of us eating. Chicken, we have a rotisserie chicken and a half already in the... Um, fridge so I'm not going to get that. We also have beef in the fridge so I'm not going to buy that. Then we, um, I need pepper. I don't have any of that. And then unsweet fruit juice. I'm going to buy that just for day number seven. The ground turkey. I don't think I'm going to get that because I have ground beef in the freezer. So I'm going to save this week on that and really just try to stick to this list as best as I can. Normally I buy what's on sale and then meal plan. But because we're doing cabbage soup, I'm just planning around this um, menu. And then um, some coconut cream. I saw, I think it's uh, Keto Focus, do eight keto recipes for dessert. But she used heavy cream. So I did Google it. And we can use coconut cream in the place of heavy cream. So I'm going to give a couple of those recipes a try. Maybe just one or two to see if we like it before I go all out buying stuff because we are gonna stick heavy with the S meals, which is more keto, um, but I don't wanna just buy stuff that the kids won't eat. So we're gonna give that uh, those couple recipes a try. Alana likes almond milk, so I'm gonna pick some of that up. And I think we might even have some coconut cream, but I think I need a little more. And then I'm also gonna try to find the coconut cream whip topping because she used that on one of the recipes as well. So we're gonna see what I'm able to find and what I'm able to pick up just to help us finish out cabbage soup week for our family. Alrighty, you guys. So the kids and I are back from the grocery store. Well, mom's back from the grocery store. And this is all of the things that I got for this week or this days four through seven of the uh, cabbage soup diet the dogs are eating because it's very late and they're just now getting fed. So I may want to stop and um, I'll come back and film after they're done eating. 2,000 years later. Okay, you guys, it's a little bit quieter now the dogs are done. So everything that I had on my list as far as things that I needed to round out this week of cabbage soup diet, I got. The only thing I did not get was the coconut cream and they did not have any cans of that. 
um, that where they had the Thai brand, but they were over $5 for one can. And I was like, not today. So everything else I was able to pick up that was on this list. Um, so my in, um, budget was $75. I intended to stay within my budget until I saw a couple items that I've never seen at Harris Teeter before. With that in mind, um, I picked up a couple extra items that were not on my list, but I've never seen them before and they are dairy free. Um, I've seen Jill over at, um, um, oh goodness, it's Sarah's sister-in-law, um, Camp David Adventures, share about her son uh, Lincoln and his um, food sensitivities and so some stuff that they use. And then just some things because the kids and I don't process dairy well um, that are going to add. And I've never seen them at Harris Teeter before. And I didn't want them to get gone if I waited until next week. So I did pick them up. But I used some birthday money that I had. I had some birthday money. And I uh, got child support today. So I did pick up those additional items. So technically, I only spent like $26 out of my checking account. But I did have some... Um, birthday money that I added in. So everything here was $126 and some change. Now those items that I picked up were expensive. So let's start here with potatoes. The eight pound bag was $2.99. Uh, strawberries will buy one, get one free at $4.99. The um, cremini mushrooms or buy one, get one free at $2.79. So I got two of those. Cabbage was not on sale, but I wanted cabbage and I wanted this kind that I have to cut up because I just like this better for uh, butter cabbage. That was 89 cents a pound. I picked up two, one for tonight, which is already after nine, but I'm still going to cook this. And then one for day six. Apples I picked up. They were, um, they were five, mm, 5.49 galas. I think all apples were over $5 for the three pound bags. Uh, pineapples were three for five dollars. One is for tonight. One is for day six. Carrots, baby carrots were a dollar seventy nine. Buy one get one free. So I got two of those. Picked up one of the white chicken chili packets. And ma'am is drinking water. Um, that was a dollar ninety nine. Picked up um bananas. We can eat eight banana up to eight bananas tomorrow or use them in smoothies. I'm probably going to just eat my bananas and not have any smoothie, but the kids might want to do bananas. Now, Jackson is eating whatever Jackson wants. He does eat the cabbage soup, but he has other things as well. Um, I picked up these turkey sausage links from Jimmy Dean. They were a little over $5 each just because that's easier for me to do on day five and six or day six, five and six, I think day five and six. Okay. This non-dairy coconut milk ready whip, I picked that up for dessert. I saw on Keto Focus's webs, um, her YouTube channel. That was two for five dollars, I think. Um, this cinnamon roll, this is zero sugar coffee mate. So of course that does have some um, milk in it, but I've never seen that one before. I picked that one up. I think this was two for seven. This um, vanilla almond milk was uh, two forty nine. This country clock crop plant butter in this tub. They were two for four, where in the sticks, it was two for six. So I just got the two for four. Cauliflower heads were buy one, get one free. And I think they were like 4 19 or something of that nature. Um, 12, uh, 12 count large eggs were 99 cents. I picked up three of those. Now here are the items that I have never seen at Harris Teeter. This is the um, Simple Truth Organic Plant-Based Sour Cream. This was like $4 or $5. And then the Kite Hill, I know you can get this at Whole Foods, but I don't live close to Whole Foods. It's the cream cheese. And this was the only cream cheese they had in the um, cooler and they didn't have much. This is plain, eight ounces, and this was $6.99 just for this. So these two items in themselves were almost 11 or $12. They had this mayo with avocado oil. That was on sale. It was a buy one, get one free for $2.50. I picked up this sweet relish because I do plan to do some chicken salad next week. And that was $3.29. Now, these are what I got with birthday money. The organic cauliflower bites, the sea salt, 
the Buffalo Ranch, and then the Cool Ranch kale chips. They were $5.99 each. And then this was a steal. I was not leaving Harris Teeter without these um, steaks. So this is pork butt steak. Now this at Food Lion would be like 20 bucks. And it was $4.62. It's $1.49 a pound. And it is 3.1 pounds. And then I got um, pork ribs. They were four something. So I got two pork ribs and two pork steaks. And they were the last four in the thing. And I did pick them all up. Yes, I did. So that is our groceries for the week for the next four or five days. Of course, they'll take us over that. But I got lots of produce, lots of fresh, lots of fresh, which is fine. And I would have definitely stayed in budget if I didn't get the meat, if I didn't get this, and if I didn't get these, you know, two things right there, I would have definitely been in budget. But, like I said, they only had a few of these left. That was $6, and I think it was on sale. And then um, the sour cream, I've never seen that before, but we want to still have some semblance of eating what we like. But we have to find alternatives for it. So $126. Again, I got child support this morning. Well, I got found out about it this afternoon. I checked my bank. And then I got um, a birthday gift. So I used that for the groceries. I used my very last grocery card. And I do not plan to do grocery cards for the month of March. Um, I'm going to try to do as much uh, pantry and freezer cooking as I'm able. Um, the the um, Remember on one of those videos I was telling y'all about the um, homestead I was watching with the meals of the week? It's Three Rivers Homestead. Three Rivers Homestead is the name. I, I just was scrolling through one day and they popped up. And I really did like um, her meals of the week. Very simple. She um, is a mom. She has several littles. Um, I think they range in ages. But I just liked her channel. And then actually Becky over at Acre Homestead. I've seen some of her videos before just populate. I've never um I've never clicked on one really until I think today. And I just actually kind of binge watched some of her prep aheads, cooking aheads, just um some things I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about, you know incorporating foods that you know god created food and he wants me to eat food and i have to i have to have a good relationship with food in order for me to process food right through my body so um couple changes and things that are coming up in the next couple of weeks you know just kind of you be you know listen around see what the kids and i are doing but we're doing cabbage soup this week just to do a cleanse um we are very, I'm low on calories, but um, that's just my life, right? Because I have a lot to do. I have to eat on the fly. Uh, but I have had some, I have had some fruit, fruit today. I've had some greens and some collie rice. I've had some spaghetti squash, a little portions for lunch. So, um, anywho, I'm going to get these groceries put away. We're going to get some food on for tonight because it's bananas only tomorrow. So I am going to cook right now. I'm going to do some cabbage and some cauliflower and we're going to call it a night. But there it is, you guys. Grocery haul for the week. What we're doing. We do hope that you like this video. If you do, thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.